Thanks to its central location, Colorado Springs is an excellent hub for taking a day trip in the state. There are so many great mountain towns and unique day trips in Colorado, it can be hard to choose. This is why we've narrowed it down to the absolute best trips from Colorado Springs that are only three hours away, or less. All of the destinations mentioned are perfect for families with kids or couples looking for a fun getaway. You can make a plan to visit multiple destinations or national parks all in one day or make an entire fun weekend excursion out of it. Here are the best day trips from Colorado Springs as recommended by someone from Colorado Springs. Number one, Pikes Peak and Pikes Peak Highway. One of the most famous and most recognizable destinations on the list is Pikes Peak. It is known as America's Mountain because it was the inspiration behind our America the Beautiful Anthem. Pikes Peak can be seen from just about any vantage point in the city of Colorado Springs and is usually the major mountain that is in the frame and you see pictures of the springs. This famous mountain is located off Highway 24 just west of Colorado Springs. And yes, technically it's still located within the city limits of Colorado Springs. It still takes more than an hour to drive up or visit the summit. That's because Pikes Peak sits at 14,115 feet above sea level and is considered a Colorado Rocky Mountain 14er. The peak can be accessed via car thanks to a very winding and narrow road, that's the Pikes Peak Highway. Or you can bike up and down the mountain using one of the many trails. There's also a shuttle service that goes to the top that you can ride that is sometimes mandatory for travelers during peak season due to the limited parking on top of the mountain. At the top is a visitor center and a view house where you can check out the amazing views from 360 degrees. It is very high up, so be careful about getting altitude sickness, or if you are afraid of heights. Number two, Manitou Springs. Just 15 minutes west of Colorado Springs, you can escape to the quirky mountain town of Manitou Springs. It sits at 6,400 feet in elevation at the foothills of the Rockies and has lots of histories and fun attractions to do. While visiting, you'll notice the historic Old West or Victorian feel of the town, not unlike some of Colorado's most famous ghost towns. Many of the old 1900 buildings and homes in Manitou Springs are still standing. And in the 1960s, Manitou Springs was known as a hippie haven. So there is a very spiritual, artsy, and carefree feel about this small town as well to this day. And after walking through downtown and shopping for a few hours, stop off at one of the many local non-chain restaurants for a yummy bite to eat. Spend some time shopping at local boutiques or enjoy playing at the Vintage Penny Arcade. Then treat yourself at Patsy's Chocolate for some classic all-American treats. Or if you're looking for one of the best natural hot springs near Colorado Springs, check out the Sunwater Spa. This is a relaxing hot spring spa using water from the nearby 7-minute spring. You can also enjoy a casual walk through the city by going on a Mineral Springs walking tour. The walking tour is free, and it gives you a map of each spring that is throughout the town of Manitou Springs. And each of these springs has their own purported health benefits and its own unique taste. And it's one of the main reasons why it's called Manitou Springs. A nice perk when visiting Manitou Springs is that it's also very close to Garden of the Gods, which is another fantastic destination. However, since Garden of the Gods is located within the city of Colorado Springs, I didn't include it on this list. Number three, Woodland Park. The drive up to Woodland Park is almost as grand as the destination itself. Located less than 30 minutes northwest of Colorado Springs, this mountain town is small, but is a pristine day trip destination. To locals who know it well, Woodland Park is known as the city above the clouds due to its elevation of nearly 8,500 feet. And there are so many things to do here. Try some delicious food at the Friday Farmer's Market, discover local artists at the annual Arts Festival, or learn about dinosaurs at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center. Very cool place for kids. Pike National Forest is also on the doorstep of Woodland Park, which offers 1.1 million acres of trails, hiking, camping, fishing, biking, and outdoor recreation. One of my favorite trails near Woodland Park is the Red Rocks Trail, which is an easy three mile loop that displays large red sandstone rock formations or enjoy a day at Manitou Lake fishing, picnicking, or hiking around the lake with gorgeous views of Pikes Peak. The Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center is also located in Woodland Park area, which is a kid and tourist favorite. Number four, Canyon City. Heading about an hour southwest of the springs, you'll find the town of Canyon City. Not only is this cute small town a favorite of mine to visit, it's also home to the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park. This must-visit destination sits about a thousand feet off the canyon floor and is the highest suspension bridge in the country. 
It's also home to some thrilling rides and entertainment, making it a great stop for kids and adults alike. The Royal Gorge sits in a valley that's surrounded by the Sangre de Cristo Mountains with the Arkansas River winding through it. Nearby attractions include hiking the Royal Gorge Overlook Loop or Arkansas River Canyon Rim Trail, and of course, the Royal Gorge Train Railroad, which offers stunning views of the bridge from within the gorge itself. While in the Canyon City area, drive over the famous Skyline Drive, which is a historic and narrow one-way road. It rises about 800 feet in elevation from the surrounding valley and offers unmatched views from this iconic hogback ridge. Number 5. Cripple Creek If you're looking for a day trip near Colorado Springs that features gold mining history and modern day gambling, check out Cripple Creek. And while this town may seem like it's for adults only, it's also filled with tons of things for families to do. Kids will love riding the Cripple Creek Narrow Gauge Railroad, which leaves every 70 minutes starting at 10 a.m. daily. This real, authentic steam engine runs on coal and is a great activity for kids, and the train only travels about 10 to 12 miles an hour. The Heritage Visitor Center is a completely free museum featuring interactive exhibits and displays that detail what life was like back in the days of the world's greatest gold rush. Grab some local coffee or ice cream from any of the local restaurants and shops that are featured along the city's main street called Bennett Avenue. It's easy to get out and explore the town on foot since it's super walkable as everything is within close proximity of one another. And for some adult-only fun, visit the Wild Wind Casino, which calls itself the highest casino in the world. Number 6. Red Rocks Amphitheater Red Rocks Park in Morrison, Colorado is known for the famous concert venue known as Red Rocks Amphitheater. No matter what time of year you visit, Red Rocks is a beautiful place to sightsee and to hike. And the great thing is this destination is only about an hour and 20 minutes north of Colorado Springs. And in reality, it's a lot closer to Denver. And Red Rocks Park covers 868 acres of sandstone and features rolling hills and meadows with stunning views and geological marvels. The park is situated at 6,400 feet and represents the intersection between the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains. This iconic concert venue has hosted bands and musicians from Daft Punk to the Beatles. The natural rock formations in this area make this outdoor amphitheater the perfect stage for acoustics. We recommend visiting this venue at least twice, once in the daytime and the other at night. You can watch the sun rise and set the stones aglow, or stay up late and see the city of Denver sparkle to life. Catching a live concert here is truly inspiring, as the venue comes alive with lights of the stage. The perfectly shaped and formed landscape of Red Rocks creates a natural amphitheater unlike anything you have seen. Either way, it's definitely an experience you'll never forget. If you don't want to see a performance there, or you just don't have time, the park also has tons of hiking trails and offers fitness and yoga sessions throughout the year. Number 8. Great Sand Dunes National Park Great Sand Dunes National Park is like no other national park in the country, and certainly unlike any other landscape in Colorado. Its mounds and mounds of sand are available for exploring, sandboarding, sand sledding, and more. When traveling from Colorado Springs, you'll go south on I-25 through Pueblo, or you'll take the route through Canyon City to Salida and then head south. This unique national park and preserve is located in the expanse of San Luis Valley, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Yes, it's a strange place to find some of the tallest sand dunes in the country, nestled near the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. With nearly 150,000 acres to enjoy and 30 square miles of sand dunes available, there are a variety of things to do and experience here. Depending on the time of year you visit, the National Park is open for exploring, hiking, sandboarding, sand sledding, RVing near the dunes, or camping even on the dunes directly. Colorado photographers love visiting this site as there is minimal light pollution from the cities and allows for epic stargazing. The Great Sand Dunes are home to the tallest sand dune in North America, the Star Dune, which is over 700 feet tall. If you're looking for lodging or local eats, some of the closest Colorado communities are Crestone, Hooper, or Mosca, with Alamosa being the largest town nearby. Number 9. Estes Park We can't make a list of the best day trips near Colorado Springs without mentioning Estes Park and, subsequently, Rocky Mountain National Park. Estes Park is considered the gateway to the Rocky Mountains and is completely surrounded by all kinds of outdoor activities. It's located less than three hours north of Colorado Springs, and the city is an amazing destination in its own right. 
It offers a wide range of outdoor activities like hiking, rock climbing, plus more relaxed options like shopping, seeing the local art scene, and the river walk downtown. In the fall, you can see hundreds of elk migrate through the city during the famous Elk Fest event. Not to mention one of the most iconic destinations, the Stanley Hotel, which was made popular for Stephen King's novel and movie, The Shining. Book a night at this grand historic hotel and get ready to enjoy the sights and sounds of the area. Number 10, Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park is an expansive and rugged wilderness with more than 250 hiking and biking trails. Visiting it at certain times of the year will yield a completely different and amazing experience. During the summer, it's an amazing place to experience waterfall hikes and swim in some of the most beautiful Colorado lakes. And while in winter, the trails are perfect for snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. To get to the park, you will have to buy a day pass, and fees do vary, or you can invest in an annual Rocky Mountain National Park Pass. But this park is also within a three-hour drive of Colorado Springs, and makes a fun day trip for everyone in the family. The park's varying habitats and wildlife residents include deer, moose, and elk. Even black bears and cougars have been seen, so beware when you're visiting for the first time. Within the park is Trail Ridge Road, which is the highest paved road in America. At the top of the road, you'll find yourself above a staggering 12,000 feet in elevation, quite a bit above treeline. It will give you unmatched views of the surrounding area, so you will definitely want to bring your camera. Number 11, Frisco. Heading west from Colorado Springs into the mountains, you'll find the small town of Frisco, Colorado. It sits at the crossroads of many of the state's most noteworthy ski resorts and destinations. Because of this, it makes a great home base to explore the state. Frisco might be one of the most centrally located towns in the entire state of Colorado. The city sits on the banks of Lake Dillon, surrounded by public lands. And as mentioned, Frisco really shines as a central hub with all of the easy access it has to the surrounding areas. But the town of Frisco stands on its own for its delightful entertainment, delicious food and brews, as well as stunning scenic views. The historic downtown in Frisco features iconic galleries and many unique restaurants and bars to choose from. The views of the Rocky Mountains make a gorgeous backdrop to the downtown area. It's the perfect spot to stop for coffee after a day on the slopes or a cold beer after a warm summer day. Number 12, Breckenridge. If you're craving both the small town mountain feel, but with resort quality amenities, Breckenridge, Colorado is the ski town for you. From historic Main Street, to sledding and snow tubing in the winter, to hiking and mountain biking in the summer, Breckenridge is a great place to visit any time of year. In fact, Breck is often considered Colorado's favorite local mountain ski town. While the town is known for the epic skiing at the Breckenridge Ski Resort, there are plenty of non-skiing things to do all year round. One of my favorites is taking a ride on the Breckenridge Gondola, also called the Breck Connect. This is a completely free way to ride up and down the mountain all day, all year long. Plus, you don't need a lift ticket or reservations to ride this gondola. Then there's the Breckenridge Troll. This large troll is a 15 foot tall wooden sculpture that has been expertly crafted by Danish artist Thomas Danbo. Isaac Hartstone, as he is named, is located just southeast of the town of Breckenridge by the Illinois Gulch Trailhead. You'll find him along the appropriately named Trollstegen Trail. The trail is considered very easy to walk and goes on for about half a mile. The artist Thomas Danvo is known worldwide for bringing awareness to recycling and upcycling by building epic sculptures and artistic items out of trash. These are just a few of my favorite day trips from Colorado Springs, all of which are within the three hours or less of the city and they each make for a perfect half-day trip that can be combined into full weekend excursions if you choose. There's always something historic to explore or adventure discover near Colorado Springs. 